in India, France, Sweden, and around the world. Women are taken to the streets to mark International Women's Day. I came out because I care about this. I care about women domestically, women internationally. The day is designed to highlight issues that impact women and girls. Things like equal pay, reproductive rights, and health care access. In the U.S., many women stayed home from work, hoping to show what the world would look like without their contributions. Some U.S. schools were forced to close when so many teachers and staff took the day off. There are protests and rallies like this one going on all across the United States. But this one, across the street from the White House, is meant to send a message to President Donald Trump. Stand up, fight back! We are horrified, horrified at the direction this president is trying to take this country. The global events follow on the heels of the Women's March on Washington the day after Trump's inauguration in January. Since then, many women who oppose Trump have felt energized. People are, are out here in the streets marching, protesting. I mean, protesting is the new brunch. Every day people are protesting and it's just so different. Democrats are trying to leverage the women-led protest movement. We are here to fight an administration and a Republican Congress that targets our families and with backwards and divisive policies. At the White House, First Lady Melania Trump hosted a luncheon marking the day and President Trump tweeted, I have tremendous respect for women and the many roles they serve that are vital to the fabric of our society and our economy. But protesters say that's not nearly enough. He has to be out of the White House and we won't stop until he is. It's that simple. Until that day comes, they say they will continue to make their voices heard. Jim Spellman, CGTN, Washington.